Zach is about Oh my god, look at this quality. Anyway, y'all, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, one Zach, back at it again with another fucking video. Now I'm playing, y'all. But hey, y'all, this is my first time in this camera. So let me know if y'all like the quality better. But I was thinking, what video should I do since my first video on this camera? And I was like, fuck it. Let me do a story time. I'm gonna do a story time. But it's gonna be two story times in one. It's gonna be a story time on basically why I don't like dogs no more and how I lost my best friend, which was a dog. So I'm gonna give y'all some details first. All right, so my dog was a neighborhood dog. If you're from the hood, you know what a neighborhood dog is. I had that dog that ran around the whole neighborhood. The whole hood knew her. She was the neighborhood dog. They fed her, they brought her back home. They bought her shit, even though she already had everything. So that was basically my type of dog. That was my dog. She didn't bite, and she was a poodle. She was about maybe this big. She wasn't that big. All right, so boom. Her name was Sasha. It was actually my great grandma dog, but she was 80 some years old, so. I lived with her and I was like 11, 10. So of course I was the one taking care of the dog, which is why I ended up building a connection to the dog. That was my only friend around that time. I had regular friends, but that was the person that I just connected to me the most. Like, you know dogs, you have a dog, you're like, they got emotions, like you just feel for the dog. So I feel for the dog, that was my best friend. So one day, it was Sunday, at my grandma's house, on Sundays you cannot listen to music, you cannot watch TV, unless it's gospel music. That's the only thing you can do. So we was outside board. We got dressed early for church. It was the earliest fuck. 10.45 seconds. So we out there playing with Sasha and shit. Regular day. We just getting ready for church. We ready for church. We all singing the little gospel song and shit. But then when we got to church, finally, after like 45 minutes, we got to church. We had to go to children's church. If you go to church, you know children's church. It's like an upstairs church. Well, in my church at least. But they got like games and shit. So this Sunday, they was like bullshit. They really wasn't teaching us. We were just in that hole playing games and shit. So we decided, let's try to sneak out of church. So boom, we text our cousin, our big cousin. He come in there and get us like, hey, it's time for him to go home. But we knew that we cannot beat our parents home because church ended at one o'clock. So we was there before they got there. They been like, what the fuck? They would've got on our fucking ass. We would've probably got, oh, this ain't folks. They probably would've beat our fucking ass. So we just went to the house. We was just waiting a little bit. But then when they got close to one o'clock, we was like, let's just go before they get here. Let's go like hide at the park or some shit. But then we was looking around for Sasha, which is my dog. So we're looking around like, where the fuck Sasha at? But she never put dogs at the same time. We was thinking, oh, maybe she just walking around doing her little stroll. But that's what we was wrong at. She was not doing her stroll. So we just going around looking for her, looking for her, looking for her. We couldn't find her. We went to the store looking for her. We went to the, around the whole neighborhood, we went to the park, everywhere. We just couldn't find her for some reason. But then about 50 minutes later, the parents get home. So they like, what's our shit? We like, we don't know. So we asked our great grandma, have you seen her? We asked everybody. Nobody seen the dog. So my brother came in. He was like last one for church. He came in. He told us that when he left for church, Sasha had followed him. He walked to church. He said Sasha had followed him halfway to the church and went back home. So we thinking like, what the fuck could she possibly be? So we weren't really thinking too much of it, but we were still like, all right, we gotta find it. Like that's our dog, we gotta find it. All right, y'all, so then, Nighttime comes, so that's when I'm really getting worried. I'm like, all right, what the fuck's up? She ain't never been gone this fucking long. She come right back home. So now I'm kind of sad, so I'm getting my in the car. She knew I was sad. She got me in her car. We walking around, I'm, uh, we driving around the neighborhood saying, Sasha, 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 scream her name. She, everybody looking at us dumb. We could not fucking find her. So at this point, I'm losing hope already. I'm a little kid, I'm losing hope already. I'm like, yeah, she gotta be dead somewhere. I'm trying to figure out who did it, cause I'm trying to go rent. Bang some shit, nigga. Nah, I'm playing. But yeah, we looked for a dog. I could not find some sad as fuck. Call her name out the window. I went home. That's the only thing I could think about. It. Like, that's really like a first. This is really like a first heartbreak. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna hunt the only thing I could think about all day. I couldn't even go to sleep. I was walking around the neighborhood barefooted late at night. Alright, so the next day come around. Remind you, I'm a little hood kid at the time. Hood baby. Broke as hell. Don't even got maybe $5 to my name. That's maybe. So I'm going around with these flyers I made at um, my school. I print out these flyers at my school. It's a fake picture of Sasha, a dog kind of like her. And if the um, flyer said, reward, it found and had the picture of the dog and had my mama number. So I'm going around there handing them hoes out, putting them on people's doors, putting them at the stores. I'm putting them hoes everywhere. Then this one I ran across. I hand him the flyer and I'm like, here, here, he read it, he was like, Yo, little broke ass ain't got no fucking money. I'm like, yes, I do. You find it, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars. That nigga said, what's that fucking line? So I'm that really broke my little heart. I ain't gonna lie. I thought everybody was gonna fall for my dumb ass life. So then, 
We just looking around for dogs. We never found them. So we start calling the Houston SPCA. If you have a dog or anything like that, you know the Houston SPCA. It's basically like a dog adoption center where they get like impound dogs and all that. If they find dogs, they bring them there for adoption. So we calling everybody. We, we got we got our chip, so you know we could just look at the chip. Nobody had it in the system. So at that point, I'm sure dead. I'm like, it's over with. She's gone. But then my grandma um, had a talk with the lady across the street, which was a new neighbor. She actually worked in one of the places, so she trying to help us find the dog too. But at the same time, we felt like she had stole the dog because she loved our dog so much, and she wanted her. She wanted to sell it to her. We didn't sell it to her, so we think she got it. So then, fast forward, we never found the dog. So it was my first heartbreak. I was so heartbroken. I didn't even want another dog at that point. They were trying to give me a dog the same day. I didn't want one. So two years later, we got a new dog. All right, so y'all, it's the second story time. It's basically kind of like the first one, but a little bit different. This one ain't like, you a kid, you might want to swipe off. Cause this shit get graphic and shit. So basically this dog name was Harry. He was small. He was even smaller than the first dog. He was probably a little bit bigger than his bottle. Nah, I'm lying, he wasn't that small. He was probably like, right here. He was Chihuahua and a Poodle mix. Some ugly ass shit. In my head, I'm thinking, I cannot get attached to this fucking dog. I remember how I felt when Sasha killed or stole him or whatever. So Harry, I showed this little nigga no type of love, nigga. I mean, this nigga was, I'll bring nigga food, go in the house. He'll come jump on me, I'll get down. So no type of love at all. I feel bad for I, I treat that nigga wrong. I'm gonna get karma for that shit the way I treat that nigga. He got no type of human interaction to me. Everybody was just, like touching my shit, me, fuck that, and I live with this little nigga. So I did not want to get attached to this fucking dog. Then one day, I was like, maybe he ain't that bad. Fuck it, I'll rub him. I'm rubbing this little dog and shit. And I promise y'all, the next day, me and Lil Jojo, if you new to my channel, Lil Jojo is my little cousin. Me and him was in the house. I don't know what we was doing. We had a big ass, boom. We like, what the fuck is happening out there? It's the hood. So shit like that always happens. So we just run outside and see what the fuck happened. Tell me why. Y'all not even gonna believe this shit, bro. Tell me why this nigga Harry was in the fucking trash, like a trash pile. It's like a trash pile on the street where everybody thought they trash. He was in the trash pile right there, dead. Nigga just got his tongue like, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? So we like, I was like, I'm, in my head, I was thinking, I ain't like, that's fucked up. But in my head, I was thinking, I'm happy I ain't get touched that damn dog. So we been out there. First thing we did, I don't know why. I got a picture in my phone. Let me see if I can show y'all. Actually, y'all probably don't want to see it, but just know that. I'm going to see if I can find it real quick. Hold on. I got y'all a look, a look. Just say, I don't think this some cap shit. This some real life shit right here. This is Harry right here, y'all. Look. Trash car. Y'all see the date too, look. This nigga was dead, bro. I swear to God, this nigga was in that hole dead. I don't know why I still got the image of my mind's on it. But this nigga was dead. So then we have to go in the house and tell my great grandma again. Her second dog in three years is dead or gone. So I'm going in the house. I'm like, damn, how the fuck I'm gonna tell us? You know what we did? We said, Big Mama, Harry dead. <laughs> that's all we could tell us. Shit, we didn't, it was nothing else we could tell us. So that's the reason I don't like dogs. Well, I love dogs, but that's the reason I don't want to get one. I don't want to get attached to one again. I'm probably gonna get dogs in the future though, because I am a dog person still. I just can't have one, because my experience is just fucked up. I just, all my dogs die or get killed. Babe, I'm not in the hood no more, so I might get a dog now. But anyway, that's the end of this story time. Tell me if y'all like the quality on this camera better. And let me know if y'all want some more story time. Put some story time um, ideas down below. And I'll do them. I'm trying to upload once or twice every day. I can drop seven videos in five days. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I promise you're going to do it in the future. So you might as well do it now. I'm going to be the biggest YouTuber in the fucking world. And um, what else I got to say? Oh, before I end this video. I used to do that little what's that behind you shit, but I ain't gonna do it in this video. But what's that behind you? Gosh damn it, hot!